what we are in fact doing on human rights with the Chinese is playing a game. We are talking about human rights. They are saying we open a dialogue and we think that things shall change. Nothing shall change. That's reality. We have the Nobel Prize winner who could not attend uh, the meeting in Oslo. We have now Mr. Ai Weiwei, who is a well-known artist and who was one of the last dissidents who had the possibility to say something outside. And the only thing we can say is an urgency resolution in which we deplore what is uh, happening. I think it is very important that the European Parliament indeed will raise uh, the persecuted activists' names when they travel to China, when they meet their Chinese colleagues in the European Parliament, and that they insist on a prison visit, because we know that many of those persecuted against are under very heavy uh, torture in Chinese prisons if not in what we call black jails, which are completely unidentified places. We call for immediate release of Ai Weiwei. Moreover, as resolution before this House makes clear, the detention of Ai Weiwei is only one among many recent incidents of arbitrary detention and disappearance in China. Several prominent Chinese lawyers who frequently act for defendants in human rights cases are reported to have been arrested by the police officers since February and have not been seen since. I think it's important now that the EU Special Representative of the European Union, through its, dele through its delegation in Kathmandu, uh, closely monitor the situation. That's something that we have been asking for so long, and I understand that in the current situation we cannot wait anymore. The pressure of China is something that we only have to uh, con combat with all our means. And if we don't do it right now, when we try to open this dialogue with them, I'm afraid that we will never do it. The recent uh, elections of 20th of March were an important event for the community outside Tibet and represented a significant step forward in the long reform process envisioned by the Dalai Lama. Against this background, we note with concern that the Nepali authorities are tightening their grip on the political activities of Tibetans in Nepal. And on 20th March, more than 10,000 of them were effectively stopped from voting by the authorities. The EU takes the view that Tibetan refugees should be allowed to exercise their right to freedom of association in conformity with the international human rights norms. And this should be done in a way which would permit the smooth implementation of these rights. Access to Nepal's territory should be maintained and the gentleman's agreement drawn up between the government of Nepal and UN High Commissioner for Refugees should be honored.